Guys, we are sorry for the hiccups. It happens every time. Let's have fun. Yes, Thank we're you. gonna have a fantastic show because we also have on stage the sassy yes, JC. Hey, hey, I keep feeling na fanya nga tuski ebizuri. Hi, wadaus. No job, but everyone who tunes in ni mdau. Mm. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Mkae tu hapo na tumerudi with a bang. Yeah. We back. That's what's up. Now we're not wasting any more time because we've already wasted too much time. <laughs> now let's get started with our first story. Now Canon hip hop star Octopizo spoke out about negligence by the government when it comes to talented Kenyans while referring to former boxing champ Congestina Aching. And just a day later, media personality best known for sport, Carol Adul and her sister paid Congestina a visit at her home in Yala with shopping. However, photos that Carol shared on social media got netizens talking, citing that it is wrong for someone who wants met Kenya very proud to be living in her condition. All right, so JC, I'm going to hmm? start with you. What are your thoughts? Like I was saying before, mm -hmm. Conge's condition yeah. gets worse. Every time we are here talking about her, Something is worse, either the way she looks, where she lives. The last time we talked about her hakuwa ocha. Yeah. Alikuwa somewhere as hijui wapi in tao, some slummy area, mna kumbuka. Yeah, but right now she's in her rural home. Yeah, mna meona nyumba vile inaka. I think, guys, like, the way wase uwa wana come together, you know that those hijui, we are doing that story of those two babies that were speaking in Sapere. You saw that kavida of two boys haikuwa clear. Eh, wana buy pencil. Now, this was, yeah, I now, do you know, like, people, yeah, yeah. I think it's, eh, hey, they have a little system when you say, like, people are coming through with whatever you have. Yeah. Say, yeah, you channel towards, there's a number you yeah, channel your fans. Mm -hmm. I think it's high time people did something for Konje. You yeah. know, even if it's a, a two, a two-roomed house, yeah, you know, guys, and then she doesn't need more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh, hey, rehab. So, she went to rehab. Yeah, she, it I wasn't think rehab. She was a mental, a mental ho hospital. You know, yeah. like she needs yeah, a checkup. She needs that. And not just for this, now, so many Kenyans, especially with COVID, everybody is dealing with some mental issues. Thank and you. Unfortunately, Conjez, her, her condition has been deteriorating over time. So, like Jesse said, maybe someone should start a GoFundMe for Congestina. But I'm okay, we're going to take a comment. Yeah, right now. I, 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 I concur with the same. Eh? Yeah. It's high time we start, we mm. stop talking about it. We do something. The government is not going to do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. What are we citizens going to do about it? Is yeah. the baby that's going to be in it? Mm. There are so many Kenyans that love that. We only need a hundred bob beach. Kill them too. Mm. Yeah. I don't see a hundred, even fifty bob. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to like, get a backlash on this, but if uh, there's an influencer who did something and people were talking online and they made money from it, yeah? yeah? Why can't we do such a thing, such Five influencers, eh? mm. Get somebody like this, we actually help them One in real life. Another thing, yeah, very fast. I think I think there's a, there's a problem with our system with sports. Mm -hmm. They're becoming too much of cartels. They use mm -hmm. someone's talents as as they squeeze your talent to a point. Okay, represent Kenya Kimaliza. Yes, that should be looked into, mm -hmm. like on a serious yeah. note. Yeah, and I, and I hope someone really looks into that story because according to Cairo, she has lost a lot of like a lot of weight. Like she's in a good condition. Yes, like. A, uh, mentally she's okay at least you can say like but she's loss better. of weight is a very but, big sign mm. yeah she die mental yeah, health like no she's not okay mm. but so let's see what happens now that everybody's speaking about it i hope like uh someone somewhere decides Hello, to do Carol. this and this is a challenge daily you know take the initiative but the thing is they have like way more influence. Yeah. They yeah. have way more money. Ata tu kianza tu tajipata tu kusolo. Mm. We know there is a twenty bob daily challenge <laughs> yeah, that was done some time back. Mm. All right, so so and you guys on Facebook, yeah, we are at White. If you go comment below and let us know what do you think about this story. How can Kenyans come together for congestion? All right. Okay, we're gonna move on to another story. The hashtag remains Y254 update. Now, now, controversial entertainment blogger Edgar Obare has been arrested by the DCI. Edgar took to his Instagram stories and posted that he had been arrested by uh, very many police officers. He wrote, and I quote, 
As I said earlier, I was summoned by the DCI. Today morning, I was arrested by very many officers at my home. Now I'm headed to Nairobi. Thank you for your undying support. After, just after that, he wrote another post saying that all was well and his lawyers had been informed and he'll be back soon serving tea. Now the tea master, as his fans call him, has severely been called out by celebrities for what they term as breaking families since he unearths secrets about anyone his fans have a story about, especially about cheating allegations. So, tea master, mm. man! But Edgar, <laughs> Edgar is the the ultimate team master, Mazel. What is Hello. happening now? Um, all this started because <laughs> he posted a photo. You guys remember the bug? <laughs> yes. bug in Dubai, mm. and you to, at some point people thought it was Betty Charlie. Yeah. Betty Charlie was to prove that to be an Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so well, oh, it was not Betty. So Natalie Tell. He tweeted these eyes. Yeah, they went and dug Nawale. Reporters in quotes were Edgar. They went dug across, and then they said uh, they said it was actually it was whose? It was our uh, Natalie Tewa's yeah. yeah. bag. Mpaka ID yake tukaona mpaka passports anaitwa Wanjiro. Yeah. Ani miaka. Ani akura cheza na wakaya. We looked at that, and now we know. Okay, we. Allegedly, no, because it's not confirmed whether it was her, when there was an ID and everything. But Edgar has been arrested because of that. It's that story. <laughs> yeah, because of Natalie Tewa's story. So Natalie's lawyers uh, got in touch with him, uh, with Edgar, and he's been arrested. So, I don't know, Mazel. Don't go for the big fish because apparently Natalie was hanging out with Johor, you know. And uh, Nani, the other MP were... Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Junet. Mm. And guys have been warning Edgar, don't go don't go for the big fish. Mm. Mm. And now it is happening, but Edgar said he didn't do anything wrong since he didn't actually he it's not him alleging, it's facts and it's from fans. Mm. He's just he reposts what other people mm. tell him. So what do you think? Do you think Red Girl, it, it's right to arrest him? Does he invade people's privacy? I don't think so. Even even other people on TV. Because let me tell you, I don't think what he did was was extreme personally. You get? Because mm. what is so what is so um. What is so bad with just reposting what somebody else has said? The difference yeah. is, yeah, I'm gonna more influence, you know, I get. Yeah. yeah. And I think, okay, me, uh, uh, the whole shenanigan, I think it was just made to like just shake him, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and do I shy off from certain kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. But in real sense, I don't really see anything like wrong. It's so big. Yeah. It. To like, be honest. Is the is for long. So, so what is worse yeah. than being accused of stealing? You know, like what is worse than Kwakusi of stealing? Here it's only people kama hiyo mpaka hiyo passport yenye tuliona shuali si yeye yeah, alitoa yeah, mm -hmm. and do you know he he asks si wana screenshot the inbox yeah. ukimwambia okay, like i have this this how valid is that and anamwambia maybe i work somewhere this and this please hide my id yeah do this ndio hii passport ana screenshot hiyo passport hiyo picha yenye ametumia like to be honest it's not him yeye yeah, analete like, wangu story i think yeah. I think it's just, just you, there is, there is nothing that you'll find that is happening. Uh, Edgar says his own words, not my words. He says we are fixing Kenya one person at a time because it's like these celebrities they take advantage of and some there's people. Nowhere they have to be accountable. A celebrity. You have to, you just get things done for you. They take advantage of women sometimes just because they're celebrities. So, yes, he, he was like, We have to, we're we fixing have to fix the nation. Sure, you know? no, but I think Kenya is not ready for TMZ kind of reporting. Yeah. No, we are ready. Though, People go into your house to take photos and you can't do anything. And in fact, if they take your photos, you can't post without giving them credit. Uh, they Lazima, sue you. they'll sue you. They'll sue you for posting your own photos. But up on the photo, I like here, I was saying. I love you, Sim Najwa, like, the like, make powerful social media. Yeah. Social media and your everything right now. I know. All right, so let's go to our next story before we take a break now. Now, a man has become a viral sensation after he fell victim to a prank currently trending on TikTok and Instagram as well. TikTok user uh, by the name uh, uh, SL Grief. Okay, SLG. Okay, let's just say SLG Rift 6. 
shared a video footage of the mom met she pranked her husband into believing she had been pulled over by police for speeding she then told him that the police were following her at home after she made up an excuse to try and get out of a ticket she went ahead and asked her husband also to pretend that he fell down the stairs and can't move to stop the police for ar from arresting her for lying ladies can your man even we have a video let's check it out <laughs> I just got pulled over by the cops for speeding. What? I know. I'm, so, I'm, Stop doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But they're following me home right now because I told them that you fell down the stairs and that was my reason for speeding. So, so I need you I to like, you fell down the stairs and so they're following me. So I need you to like lay out and act like you're hurt because we're in the plane. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, it's a prank. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. When we can, like, where do people get this kind of people to do these things for them? JC, would you do that for someone? Yeah. You can. Mm. Oh, look at that. She's so sweet. Man, let's have fun, Evo. Be ready. <laughs> do that but but what's your take on pranking though like, uh, i think for that that is a good one you know that kuna zingine mbaya kuna mse ana ku pranking kisijui nani ame die you know like there zile mbaya they they take you in a panic mode yeah you see a panic mode you had to act umtoe kwa trouble you know this is like acting it's like dramatization you know to the sober and he's good at it i think ata bibi yake alijua wezi niangusha mse unajua like who is niangusha so went to show anguke una mpaka ameingia kwa kwa hiyo bao katikati <laughs> Maua iko hapo mpaka socket ime, imetokana sijui hapo me notice hivyo I know and the point is you know we didn't play like the whole video because there's a point <laughs> akiingia na mwambie okay they are right behind me they are right behind me alafu mseme mseme lay chini ya onge alafu vile ameamka ameamka vizuri all right so it's so let's do this let's take a, this short commercial break we're coming back to take MCK's comment are you serious <laughs> <laughs> Why two five four? Imagine. Right. Thank you so much for keeping it white two five four. Now we're gonna take MCK's comments regarding that guy. Oh my God! So many people have tea, baby. Any, any prank you wanna can be a box, man. Yeah. Any time you jump, you shut your ears. I don't mean to get you. I mean to get you. You need to learn how to work. You work with me on it. Eh. Let Let Shingo dislocate. <laughs> I think I think there's a reason this doesn't happen Maju. Mm -hmm. This is Kenya. That can never happen. Mm -hmm. I think Kenyans were just too uptight. Unless and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Unless and otherwise. Yeah. Na jo if yako kishiko mimi ndo nalipa hiyo fine. Yeah, maybe that's the reason. <laughs> maybe that's the reason because I know it's not going to credit card yangu. Afu na jo Maju na sikia they take this offenses so like you can't get it. Yeah. Una unaweza nipata kitu kadha kumi. It happens by the way. Kwa kumi yangu ile that we video wife. Wacha nijifanye ni mela chini. Again, but personally I don't think you will really really have to have to convince you. Yes. But she did a great job. She took a whole three minutes to convince him so yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's Three believable. Is a long time. Yeah. All right, now, next story, right? Now, Singa Bahati is not new to controversy. In fact, sometimes it's too much that even his wife gets dragged along with him on social media. Now, recently, in his latest interview with comedian MC Jesse on his YouTube channel, Jesse's Junction, Bahati said he no longer does gospel music, but he still believes in God. Uh, he said, and I quote, the gospel is Christ. I have Christ in my heart and I believe in God and he is the reason I'm at the top. I cannot leave Jesus Christ, but the gospel industry is rotten. Bahati told JC, Mtoto Mama claimed that he was fought a lot way in the gospel industry and right now he wants to do love songs and also leaving the industry was the best decision for him. Yes, so, mm -hmm. you know, he says mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is his personal Lord and Savior, but yeah, he's not part of the gospel industry anymore. Sababu, it is rotten. He gets fought a lot 
people are fighting each other. What are your thoughts? MCK, Lazimania Zena. MCK is actually, we call him a superstar because he's actually really, honestly, a gospel artist. And yes, you can find him on YouTube at MCK Official. Gospel With the double gospel. L at the end. So yes, you <laughs> as a gospel artist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as long as I'm on YouTube. Hey, what comes in your gospel, Mazen? Let me, let me. Let me. The gospel is okay, but the industry is, it has a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. Actually, there are most of my fans that always ask me one or two songs, yeah, for like two years. Mm -hmm. Because personally, this is my personal short story, yeah. When I came into the, into the industry, I shoot up very fast. Started with big collabs and everything. The cartel in, in, in that uh, cocoon did not like that. They will fight you. The moment they see you going up and you do overtake me, there will always be that fighting. So there's, so, there's wait, two so tweets. Yes, they want you to I always mean, leak exactly. Please, you. Baba, please. Why? I don't know why, and yeah. it's a gospel uh, industry, why we have to be like that. So yeah. what he's actually saying is the truth. And it has pushed a lot of talented people mm -hmm. from actually, you know, releasing a it was stress to push. Yeah. You get. But uh, at least kuna platforms come on to five four, you know, I can come here and everything. And these people are fair. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So now part of these cartels have been there for so long, yeah. When you start you, you get to a level you don't really need them anymore. They'll start to use each and every avenue to like suppress you. And come on, even as much as we are doing gospel, we have to feed our families. Mm. You get. If you're supporting us, our music will be bought outside there, we'll have shows, we'll do a lot of things. Yeah. It will it will be very hard for such artists to come back because bad one apart they are daily bread. Mm. But if you Okay, and that's what they do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So now, but they still believe in God. They're still Christians, but they have to feed. But they have to feed their family. That's the problem. Yeah. So, all right, Jesse, do you I think, uh, share MCK's sentiments? I'm on a yeah, yeah. To Nalia Sana. I'm not sure. Get my fans. It changes nothing. I think Mungu anangaliyanga the heart, the righteous heart. You know, like that heart. See, it's not all. There are people who are doing that gospel and in one corner, pale. Kwanza na do worship, you know. Like and akopale kwa worship songs, but I'm telling you, feeling you kind of patane na ya po inje. You 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 unamwangale unamkosa the same person na likuwa na lead praise. And uh, I think, eh, hey, this he's a father now. He's a husband. He has a whole family to feed. He has four kids looking up to him. Bahati the moment, to be honest, maybe the Wanani song, he's doing way much better mm -hmm. doing secular songs, to Zita love songs, Alisemani love songs, mm -hmm. other than gospel. For, for me, Bahati's favorite, my, from Bahati, Nimemskiza na Wanani, that song is perfect. Mm -hmm. Since MCK, you being, being an artist, Iko Sawa. It's a love song. From an artist's point, Iko Yeah, Iko it's fine. Like, I think, 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 yeah, wow. to tap water. You God is the that. judge. <laughs> See, they're not going to want to worship songs. Okay, so, so they're going to support Bahati. I'm surprised for once. Um, and I don't want to say. You might like him a few Facts, facts. Sometimes you have to talk facts. For once, they're Team Bahati. Shout out to Team Bahati then. Okay, now, on to another story. Now, a video is making rounds on social media of a man humiliating his wife on her child's birthday by issuing her with a DNA test proving that. The three-year-old daughter isn't his. In the video, he says that he always suspected that the baby wasn't his, but he had to take a DNA test to prove that he wasn't the biological father. The wife was very happy initially, thinking that the overwrapped birthday gifts were either a necklace she's been wanting for a long time or tickets to Dubai. But unfortunately, it was DNA test, and just before the video ends, the man told the woman and her baby that they had till the end of the month to move from his house. Ouch. It's heavy. Ouch. Oh, babe, really, out of all days, you had three years to give this to me, now you want to give this to me? All right, well, listen, you and Nevaeh got to the end of the month to get out of my house. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. But you that's your daughter. And your daughter had to the end of the month to get out of my house. But that's Kelly. your daughter. It's not my daughter, Kelly. Yes, it is. The paperwork says it's not my daughter. Why would you do this? I am not the father. <laughs> no. Kenny, literally, the emoji. I, I, you see that emoji in a kwanga ivi? Where? Now I'm going to. Jesus. Yo. Okay, so who's to blame? This man has stayed with this woman. 
for a long time. They have a child who is three years. I love whom um, say I may change to once. I may say, you and your baby, get out. You know, you mm. and your baby. But all along you knew he was your baby. So does that the fact that he's not your biological baby? He knew I was doubting. Change? Does that change? And also for ladies, why would you take that long? Come on, Ajum. So why didn't you just say the truth? Instead of you and then you you drama come easy. So I don't know. MCK, you as a man, what you take? I think I think most people would understand that maybe we are no more as a mole, but I think everybody understand would understand this guy because at a mimi, if you've had because you conceive that this time, yeah? Ukaza this time you get. So it doesn't add up. But you're like, I still love you and everything. I want to give it the benefit of doubt. But the more this kid grows up, you're like, hey, I don't see so much of me in this in this guy. You get, you're like, let me just get a DNA test. You know, you never know. You just clear up this thing because So let me just get it. And then you, you find out like what you like it's what is happening. So what happens in this case is no pataga. This lady actually maybe even knew. But the best the best option was this dude. Like Ali Kona Joe and Ali Amtot and everything. So yeah. maybe yes. the, that he was responsible. Security exactly, financial. exactly. So I can make sure things may happen between him and this guy, but but this is I think this is like a wake up call. Sometimes not wrong and guys vitu what wa nini. Maybe these things have even happened even at Uja, at Uja Jua, because you're like How, uh, they happen, they do happen. Yeah, so let's but just not even like that. Even we just saw a case recently at Pumwani, Mtu after two years, Ali Peo Mtoto si wake, Ali Peo Maiti, na Mtoto wake mwenye akan Ali Uzu was due a bit. Yeah, they were kind of Mtoto mwenye alikuwa the stillborn baby, Aqua wow. Mm. And so many people get their babies switched at birth. So, so ukipata hivyo, unanza kublem bibi. Na maybe pia ya jui, because even hospitals, sometimes they do that. Anyway, that, that, that's, 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 that's a good point too. Yeah. That's a very good point. You can just sign out as uh, that's a very good go point to too. Yeah. yeah, so let's not talk a lot about it. Yeah. If that lady did something bad, please, ladies, learn from this, yeah? So, it's your boy, MCK official. Follow me everywhere. I have a canoe segment that I'm talking about love and relationships and everything on my social platforms. Follow me, let's discuss and encourage us to avoid it too easy. Mm. Thank MCK you. Official with, with a, a double, double L. L. Thank we you. Got it. We got it. All right, Jesse, what's your take? Yeah, I think on, first things first. Uh, yeah. uh, this guy. As a mother, talk to us as a mother. Okay, well, I'm not a mother, but I can <laughs> yeah, try. Yeah, yeah. I assume. Assume. Mm. assume. Let me assume, assume. assume. <laughs> as a lady. But first things first. I think this guy in your end, I do a DNA test. There are some things that Aliona had trust, baby. Yeah, to be yeah, like to be realistic. When you can't do a test, you can't do a test. 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 You can't do you trust is shall break you. Yeah. But for the baby, as I come out and provide you, just be there. Physically, you know, yeah. like emotionally. Because I'm told this story. Yeah, I'm told you. The baby umbado. is not to be blamed. Yeah. You know, like, and yes, Watere is watching. Oh, Watere yes. is a mother. Watere to pay comments. Zako, wako, kwa nini. Sharon, to pay comments. Hafulu, amesema, ana watch. Yeah. Hey, it is, it is. Ju, like Ju, Sam, I don't know, so, I don't know, like Isama, ni wapi. Na Janet. So big up everybody there. watch. Because of time, we're going to end it there. Oh, shout out to Dennis Bob Miner. He's going to be here next week, right? And then shout out to Janet, Ron, Junil, Lona, and then there is D, there is Esther. Thank you so much. And Timo, Maze, for making the show possible. Rose, hi. Mm. There is Mose, there is Sue. Uh, who else? I think that, that's everybody for today. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. And we're going to see you again next week with an even better show, but keep it Y254. Fill in Jin across all social media pages. See you later. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.